Hey guys, I am Lewis from Aspiring Gen. Today I'm going to be showing you a very quick tutorial on how you can mend a hole in a piece of fabric. So this can work on pretty much any industry and style of clothing, men's, women's, children's, it's universal. But where I see it a lot in men's is shirts, socks, uh, trousers sometimes, but it can be in a very unnoticeable spot. So you don't wanna throw the clothing away. You just wanna be able to stop it from getting worse. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you is a hand stitching method on, on mending a hole. Some call it darning when you're doing socks and whatnot. And just a really quick method on how you can get this fixed on your clothing today. Here we are with the hole right here in the center of this fabric. This is just a test fabric to make it a little bit easier to show you in the camera. Now, some things that I identify in this hole. As you can see, it's pretty close together still. It can be pulled in, but this method also works if there's not as much inside and it's just a really big just gouge in the fabric. So what are we gonna do? All you need is a needle, some thread, some scissors to cut it when you're done. Make sure though that you are using a thread that matches your fabric. As you can see here, this does not match whatsoever. So this is just for an example. For a fabric like this, what I would have been using is either a light blue or even a white would have looked really well on this. And again, this is already in a spot where it's not super noticeable. So you're not worried about it showing or looking its best because this isn't gonna make it invisible. It's just gonna stop it from fraying and look a little bit more presentable. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna take your needle and your thread. You do not need to tie it off. You're just going to be taking the needle and going around the outside of this fabric. Go one stitch in. And we're just gonna loop it back on our, itself and that's going to hold it into place so that the thread doesn't come undone as we go around the rest of the hole. Now, another thing to mention, with working with lighter weight fabrics like this one, this needle is a little bit oversized. You're gonna to wanna to be using like a five or a six sharps needle. This is more for a heavier wool fabric, but again, just demonstration. So now that we have this nice and tight there, it's not going anywhere, we're just going to be doing a simple stitch all the way around the perimeter of the hole. As you go around, you're just gonna keep doing that double like this so that you keep it nice and firm. Just keep going all the way around like this, doubling back on itself. Many people refer to this as a back stitch. Now that we have it at the end, we're just going to tie it off with a little knot. Snip it. And there is the first step in getting it darned. Now what this did is this is going to allow us to be able to cross stitch back and forth without ripping out more of the fabric and making it fray. This keeps the hole where it is. So now for this step, we are going to tie a knot at the end of our thread. Already did that there. Snip off the end. And for this, we're going to start on one end, usually the end that kind of comes together like that. It's the best place to start. And obviously this is going to be the outside, the side you want people to see. This is gonna be the inside. So you always start with the needle coming out from the inside so you hide that knot. Okay, so then from here, we're just going to take this and then hook it, sew back and forth across while going on the outside of the thread. You don't wanna go inside, you wanna catch it from the outside and that's gonna keep it nice and firm. Go keep tucking the fabric in so that it comes together, it doesn't bunch onto the outside. You 
kind of want to make it like folding a taco with the inside of the taco going inside the garment. And there we go, we're coming to the end and you're just like you did on the perimeter of the hole, you're just going to tie it off into a knot so that this thread does not come undone later on down the road. Throw in a few just to be safe. Whoops. There we go. You're just going to want to press that and make it look all pretty. So here we have the semi-finished product. Obviously, I would spend more time on a client's piece, getting all these little fine wrinkles out of there. But this is, again, just to kind of show you what has been done. Now, some things that you should do on your project if you're actually doing this. One, this will look so much better with a white or light blue thread. Very less noticeable, very much less noticeable than it is right here. As you can see, you can see that from a mile away. But with matching thread, not a problem. Also, like I said, make sure you have the right needle for the fabric. This I would have been using like a, four, a five or a six sharps needle, where maybe like a 10 for a heavy wool, something like that. But this is gonna get you through whatever you need. And that's all for you guys. And like I have said before, if this is a very serious hole or right in the center of your clothing, get it professionally done, or you just have to replace the garment. It's just what it is. But if you have a favorite piece of clothing and it's not gonna just really be an eyesore to whatever you're wearing, hopefully this was able to help you bring some more life into it and just really get the most out of your clothing because I know that's something I find valuable and hopefully you did too. But as always guys, if you have any questions or concerns, let me know in the comments or reach out to me on any of the other social media platforms that I am also on and putting out content. Uh, also like, share, subscribe if that's something you wanna do. If not, I totally understand. But I just have to ask so that this channel can keep growing and better things can come to you guys like tutorials like this. So hopefully you found it helpful. I'm Lewis from Aspiring Gen and I will see you next time.